so in this video i'll be showing you baking how to bake your face so first of all before you bake your face you have to apply concealer here i'm using the la girl pro concealer you want to apply it on your t-zones where the light reflects just to make that place highlighted you can do this with a concealer that's about two shades lighter than your actual shade so i go ahead with my beauty blender and i'm blending it out i go ahead with a lighter shade of concealer in the inner corners to just um blend that area now one thing about um baking or setting is that you use your loose powder which is your setting powder it comes in different colors depending on preference and but here i'm going to be using um a translucent powder a translucent powder it also helps to set the face but um doesn't give off so much um um color to that area just sets the face that's why it's translucent so it doesn't have doesn't apply so much um color or shade so i'm using this zaron translucent powder and i'm going to be applying it on the areas where i applied my concealer for the highlighting and um i'm going to just be alighting applying it with this powder puff on those areas now the difference between um setting and baking if you notice um setting is basically help it basically helps to keep your concealer in place so in that setting you apply a very small amount of um of your setting powder you can use your translucent powder you can use your banana powder depending on what you wish you apply it you can dust off the excesses and just press it there on it and it just helps to keep your concealer in place however baking on the other hand is more like you have to apply extra you apply more amounts so once you apply more amount you leave it in so that it can set your makeup in place and for it to last all day at the same time give it much more highlighted effect so you can see i'm just um i'm just applying it on those areas where i concealed you can also um set your face with your loose powder um but however oh sorry this is a loose powder you can set your your face with your pressed powder okay there are there are two major kinds of powder there's your setting powder there's your finishing powder so this is your setting powder um or your setting powder which i'm applying on her face right now so you can also set your face with your finishing powder just applying small amounts and pressing it out over there however this loose one gives it a super um a super unique finish and it's also super easy to blend by the time you are um, applying or finishing off your makeup so i would i would always um i would suggest using a loose powder so you can see i've applied it and i'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the makeup so i'm leaving it to bake so this process is called a baking process if i apply a small amount i'm just letting it set in but applying so much amount like this and leaving it to set in completely and give a highlighted effect is what we term as baking so i'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the makeup so if you have watched up to this point you have any questions do what leave it in the comment section if you found this tip or this video helpful do well to give this a thumbs up do well to like this video and do well to subscribe so here is the final look you can see that um, her t-zones are super highlighted because of the highlighting effect so i hope you found this video helpful and I'm going to be dropping the tutorial for the full, vi full video in my next um, video, my next post. So do all to subscribe, do all to turn on your notification. So when next I drop a new video, you'll be the first to see it. So stay tuned for more.